how to send a newsletter. Whether you're on Main Street or Wall Street, keep your customers, clients, and associates in the loop with an informative bulletin. A newsletter can be effective online or in print if you know how to make it attractive. You will need moderate computer knowledge, software, a sign-up list, a schedule, and a privacy policy. Step 1. Choose whether to send a hard copy paper newsletter or an email. A paper newsletter may cost money to print and mail, but are accessible to everyone who receives it. An electronic or e-newsletter takes a little computer knowledge to create and distribute online. An electronic newsletter can be formatted in plain text, which is easier to read but has no features, or in HTML, which allows for creativity and an attractive appearance. Step 2. Save time with computer software programs that have hundreds of preloaded templates available, or enlist the help of your local copy shop to find a style that works for you. Step 3. Start a sign-up list in your store or throughout your website with customer or client email addresses so you can distribute your newsletter electronically. Step 4. Create a schedule to regularly print or send your newsletter. Make sure any contributors are aware of when they will need to send in their articles. Let the people who sign up with their email address know how often they will receive a copy or when the news will be available online. Plan ahead for holidays and special events and give your contributors enough time to work their articles into their schedule. Step 5. Write up a privacy policy to let your customers and clients know their information will not be shared and they are free to opt out of the list at any time. Step 6. Group all the email addresses together in your email account and send out your newsletter either in the body or as an attachment. Be timely and consistent to ensure success. Did you know? In 1971, Ray Tomlinson sent the first email message and started using the now famous at symbol to separate the username from the computer name.